Notts County talk outside mid lane. It's finished somehow. Notts County won, Woking four. I honestly don't know what's happened. I, I don't. I don't know. I yeah. <laughs> no words. It seems to kind of all just go wrong at that 70 minute mark. I think when Woking bought on their number 11, he did change the game a bit. But it's set pieces again. Like it's simple things. You win the ball, and I just don't know what happened. Like I can't. I don't know. After the first two went in, it just seemed like. It was just all woken after that, even though we had our chances. And we just need to be ruthless with those chances because we could have gone in 2-0 up. We could have gone in 3-0 up. Like, there was opportunities. It wasn't like we didn't create anything. It wasn't like Altrincham last week when when I watched that. It was just like we didn't create anything. We created stuff today. And we just did nothing with it. And then Woken took every chance they had. Every chance. Well, Bertrand spoke about it in the fans' forum that this is probably the most physical, the biggest team we're going to play this season. And like you've said, We've got a set piece coaching now, and we've been done two, three, set, two set pieces, I think. Yeah, it's it's tough take because obviously, like we've got different centre backs and um, different defence to what you're usually used to. But everyone knows how to defend a corner, and it can't just be reliant on the defence because when that when those set pieces come in, it's not just the defence in the box and midfield there as well. And they've all got to take ownership for that. They've all got to kind of step up and be ruthless in that box and win those headers and win those balls and fight for that battle you can't just let it drop bounce yeah I mean this is the first game of season where you know it's going to get hot it's going to get tough in January February when it's freezing cold weather's like this but it's the first game of season where it's been a, it's been a battle and do you think do you think we miss people like Doyle in there I think we miss Doyle I think Cameron was a big miss today I think Cameron would have kind of been more of a physical presence and kind of a dominance as that captain figure not saying that Wooten wasn't but it's just different areas of the pitch like Wooten can't have that effect at the back if he's up front um, yeah I think Doyle kind of at the ref's ears I think it was their number five he was at the ref constantly getting at him and I just think you miss that kind of bite you miss that kind of tenacious player who's just for the team like going at them the whole time but yeah I, I feel like for me that's starting to be a bit of a worry if you looked at the Torquay game we didn't handle that very well when it started to get bitty in that game and you know it's the same again today I I don't know if it is personnel, I don't know if we're going to be able to dig in, but we'll have to see. Um, positives, there must be some positives, because for me there were some positives. From about 70 minutes afterwards, it's poor, but before that? Um, sorry, just watching that. Um, <laughs> the main class, I thought the way you got at players was great. It's something that, not we've not been missing, but the way they lined up today in like the 4-5-1 kind of formation, it kind of suited him. I thought Brindley got at players well. Patterson, even though he shipped four goals, bless him. He can't, he's not really at fault for any of them and what he did do was class. His feet are very technically good, he's a calm player, he's a cold, calm goalkeeper for, at such a young age. Other positives? Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. We've already quickly spoken about this, right or wrong decision to bring the main off do you think? I want to say, I don't know if he was tiring or not, obviously they've got Monistar on that track this and they, they'll be able to know better than us, but he didn't seem like he was tiring. I think it was the wrong decision to bring him off. For Lewis Knight, well, I don't think Lewis Knight should have come on, and obviously he went off injured, but no one knew that was going to happen. But I don't know in that kind of position, I don't know who you bring on. You don't know who you look on the bench to do. Or do you change your formation? Do you go for what we've been playing, like a five-three-two, or do you go for a four-four-two and put someone up there with Carl Wooten to feed off? Like putting Lewis Knight on the wing. I know he's, he's a fast player, but I don't know. I don't think it was the right swap. I don't think coming back from injury as well. Yeah. I mean, look how long it's taken him to bring players like Vincent into the side and all of a sudden Lewis Knight straight on the pitch chasing a game. Exactly. One sprint and he's done. Um, let's be honest, the last two games have not been the most difficult at all. Um, Altrincham, Woking, we've got a very, very tough lot of fixtures coming up. Does, does that worry you after today? It doesn't worry me because I know we've got a lot of players coming back from injury still. You're going to have a blip in the season. No one's going to have a whole smooth season. And I'd rather have the blip now early on get it kind of sorted we don't get knocked over right? yeah by the coach um, rather have that kind of sorted and I don't know it's the right time to have a blip if you're going to have one and Bertrand's been unlucky with the injuries and things like that but you can't blame it on that because he has bought in players and kind of shored up those areas but it doesn't seem the look's going knots his way today especially with the ref and just everything at the moment but obviously it will change like all teams go through bad patches like this and it's not even a bad patch we've lost two games I know the manner in which we lost today was different to Altrincham. It probably shouldn't have been four goals, but it is what it is, and it's just how they bounce back now. Yeah, exactly. Um, poor result, poor weather, but highly appreciate you speaking to us. Thank, Thank you. you.